A new version of Google Analytics has been released called Google Analytics 4, and it was introduced in October of 2020. So any Google Analytics account created after that date, once you set up your Google Analytics account will look like this. So I've got a lot of questions from people saying it's different to how I showed them to do it in previous videos. So what you can do is once you get into this screen, you can click into data streams, you can click in here, and here you will see the tagging instructions. And this is really how you add the Google Analytics tracking code onto your website. Now there are two main options, and the first option is to copy this code and then paste it in as the first item into the head of every page that you want to measure. So this is actually copying this code and pasting it in in the code of your website. Now many people, especially beginners, are not comfortable messing around with this. So you can also add it with Google Tag Manager. But Google Tag Manager is also not that easy to set up, especially if you're a beginner. It's an extra tool that's, that's a little bit complicated. So the workaround that I'm suggesting is you actually come back into Google Analytics and instead of it being set up here in the Google Analytics 4, the new version of Google Analytics, we go back and we set up Google Analytics as it was before and then later on you can upgrade to Google Analytics 4 when it becomes easier to add it to your site. So the reason that I'm saying to go back to the previous version of Google Analytics is if, for example, you want to use Monster Insights to easily add Google Analytics to your WordPress website using Google Analytics 4, it can't be done at the moment because Monster Insights has not been updated to enable you to do that. You can't add Google Analytics 4 to WordPress using the Monster Insights plugin. And this is not the fault of Monster Insights. Google Analytics has not actually allowed third-party developers like Monster Insights the ability to develop on top of Google Analytics 4. So the problem is with Google Analytics 4. They really released the Google Analytics. It's in beta mode, so they haven't given access to developers yet. Even Google's own plugin called SiteKit, which is another option to add Google Analytics to WordPress. They haven't even updated their own plugin to enable this. So if you were to use this plugin, you can't add Google Analytics 4 to WordPress using this plugin. So for beginners, I think probably the easiest thing is just to come back into Google Analytics and create a property as Google Analytics was before. So here are the steps, it's pretty simple. Click on Create Property, and add in your property name. So just put in your website name. And you can add in something like old Google Analytics so you know it's clear. Then add in your reporting time and currency. And now this is the important part. Under Show Advanced Options, click to create a Universal Analytics property and click to create a Universal Analytics property only. So this is really creating a Google Analytics account as it used to be. Just remember to pop in your website URL and then click Next. Now you can fill out these questions here. And then click Create. So now what you'll see is the tracking ID here that most website builders and third-party developers at this stage use. So you can just copy and paste this tracking ID as shown in my other video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it below. So that is really how you get back to the old Google Analytics and use that simpler tracking code to connect 
your website with Google Analytics. Now later on, you can just simply upgrade to Google Analytics 4 so you can benefit from those newer features now. And I would suggest you do that once Monster Insights has been enabled to add Google Analytics 4 or even SiteKit, which is Google's own plugin for WordPress. So this is a bit of a workaround. To recap once again, what I'm suggesting is you just come in, create a new property as the old Google Analytics, wait for these plugins to be updated, especially for WordPress, if you're not comfortable messing around with codes. And then later on, once these plugins have been updated, shouldn't be too long, you can upgrade to Google Analytics 4. So that's the workaround to add Google Analytics to your website easily. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.